so I'm back on the road again some of you may know that my truck got totaled about a month ago a little more than a month ago with the flood damage or water damage and I thought I'm gonna have to wait for a new truck for like six seven months but I got lucky and I got this beast van you can see and uh, I'm now joining Ford and the rest of the guys we're going to Indian Valley we'll see how this perform or not and uh, should be a fun weekend so we are now inching toward Indian Valley Reservoir there's uh, I think five of us yeah five of us all together Ford is in the red truck, Chris is in the Tacoma, and I forget the other two names. I'm sure I'll find out soon, but it's nice. So we passed, we kind of saw from the top of the mountain, we saw a clear lake. Now we are kind of snaking through the mountains on our way to Indian Valley Reservoir. Scenery is pretty cool over here. Um, it's really, really nice. All right, first water crossing with a Megalodon. Yeah, that's gonna be a piece of cake. There we go. Last time this happened. <laughs> oh, we're driving around looking for a camp spot. Oh, this road's super muddy and it smells like caca. We're gonna have to go up a little bit further than turn in. Alright, so we are going to that same spot that we went with the overlanding with overlanding with kids I, a couple of years ago. And some people here are camped right on the road, so we asked them to move so we can pass through. And we are going to cross some crazy, no, well, not crazy, but a little bit of water. Everybody is looking at the Megalodon and drooling. All right, Chris is in the front, I'm just following him. I don't even need four wheel drive here. It's probably halfway through the tire, so it's not really a big deal. There we go. That's gonna be our camping spot. All right, so I just met Royal and Manny. They are camping in a different spot. And I'm gonna cross this uh, part of a river or a stream it's no big deal, but after what happened to me last month, every crossing is a little bit nerve-wracking, but this one is no big deal, I should be okay. Here we go. Oh yeah, nice and easy, not even four-wheel drive. I'm gonna join everyone right here or oh, actually the second group over there So I just left the group and uh, I'm gonna 
you know, explore a little bit, look around, see how Indian Valley is. But from what I can see, it is really, really um, flowing, meaning it was uh, very dry relatively in prior years. And now after a couple of seasons worth of rain, it seems like the lake or the reservoir is completely full uh, to the point that there's less places to camp because uh, the, the dry bed lake is not dry anymore, which is kind of cool. 